Hola, my name is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Physical variables are those related to physical causes that act on a body with its movement or with the physical properties of substances. Among them are the weight, of which I will talk about in this video, the speed, density and specific weight, humidity and dew point, viscosity and consistency, the flame, dissolved oxygen, turbidity and solar radiation. Chemical variables are related to the chemical properties of bodies or their composition. Among them are the conductivity, pH, redox and the composition of gases in a mixture. The weight of a body is the force with which it is attracted to the earth. The relationship between the mass of the body, that is the amount of matter it contains, and its weight is given by this formula. The mass of the body is constant and the acceleration of gravity varies with the height and the place. For example, in the equator it is 9.78 and at the poles it is 9.83. There are several methods to measure weight. One by comparison with other standard weights, and they are balances and scales. 2. Strain gauge load cells. 3. Hydraulic load cells. And 4. Pneumatic load cells. Comparison with other standard weights is made by balances and scales. The classic balance is made up of a lever with equal arms called a cross that rests in its center and from whose ends hang the saucers which support the weights. It can measure from a few grams to 300 kilograms. Rubber balls balance essentially consists of an articulated parallelogram that can oscillate around the central point of the upper side of the parallelogram, keeping the lateral rods that support the pants vertical. It is characterized because its balance is achieved regardless of the position of the weights on the saucers. Its measuring range reaches up to 40 kilograms and is used in filling operations or checking wakes of finished objects. The classic scale essentially consists of a lever supported at a point from which the wake to be measured hangs at one end and in the other it has the shape of a rectangle with movable weights, one for row adjustment and the other for fine tuning. The automatic scale consists of a lever at an angle, supported in its center with a known weight at one end and an unknown weight at the other. The scale always reaches an equilibrium position by marking directly on a graduated scale, and a printer or weight transmitter can easily be adapted to it. Balances and scales are simple and highly accurate. Balances can reach plus minus 0.002 to plus minus 0.05 percent of accuracy and scales plus minus 0.1 percent. However, they have a slow speed of response. Corrosion due to dirt, dust, vapors and humidity can attack the set of levers at the fulcrum points. This and the wear of moving parts contribute to the precision of the weighting. The electromagnetic balance uses a displacement sensor and a torque coil mounted in a servo system that balance a standard weight and the unknown weight. The electrical output signal can be applied to a microprocessor, which provides an automatic tear. Statistical routines with calculation of the mean and standard deviation of the weightings and the temperature compensation. A communication model can be added to send the weight value remotely. Its typical accuracy is 1 mg in 500 grams. And well, this will be all for today's video. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe and share. I will upload videos every Wednesday in Spanish and every Friday in English. Adios. Redox. 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 Order is standard weight. Standard. Standard. Standard.